Today I have some goldfish arriving from Indonesia. They've been in the country for a while, but my agent didn't have an opportunity to send them until today. I woke up this morning nice and refreshed, got dressed, ate some breakfast, looked at my phone and I saw that it was 2 a.m. in the morning. At about 9 or 10 a.m. I started feeling myself pulsating along with the earth, man. Absolutely exhausted. I might not be all there in this video. All right, there's a long story why I bought these fish. I'm gonna get into a little rant, but first let's open it and see what these fish look like in person. I thought she sent me two Oranda. No, it's the Ranchu and the Oranda. Massive Ranchu, by the way. Massive rubbish. I broke the box. Well, there goes my plans on reusing it. Move over, Goku. Everyone looks good and healthy. <sighs> now don't get me wrong. I'm not upset with my agent. I am livid towards the Indonesians. But first, let's float this bag, get the fish used to the temperature out here, and uh, yeah, then I'm gonna put them in their new tank, and I'm gonna individually examine them when they're ready. Oh. There's my blue bucket. <laughs> Always very important to have a quarantine tank. You can absolutely not want to work with animals and not have a quarantine facility. Diseases spread like this and people don't always realize how easily it can happen. I have to get these fish out of this bag as quickly as possible. So why don't I drip acclimate? The reason why people drip acclimate is to get the fish used to the differences in pH. However, here's the thing. When the fish has been in the bag for too long, the pH drops. When you open up the bag, the pH shoots back up instantly again. Get rid of that. Yeet! In other words, the fish just went through a massive pH change. And they didn't die. So what's the point of acclimating them to the pH? I cannot speak for tropical varieties of fish. I don't know how sensitive they are. It's out of my area of expertise. With goldfish, I have not ever had an issue with fish not being used to the pH. As long as the pH is between 6, 6.5, 6.5 is better, 6 is a little bit low, between 6.5 and 8, you're not gonna have any issues. So are you guys ready for my rant? I am about to go off. Now, these were not the fish that I originally intended to buy. I used to breed Ranchu a couple of years ago, got Ranchu last year, October, but they all died because of an issue related to a bacterial infection. And so I was biding my time, waiting and waiting until now. I ordered a box of Calico Ranchu. Originally, I wanted Ranchu from either China or Thailand. Thailand effing dishonest, but at the very least, the quality is pretty good. That makes things a little bit more worth the risk. The importers were looking for me for Ranchu, but Thailand and China didn't hear anything from them back. What choice did I have? I needed Ranchu yesterday. Indonesia refused to send videos of the stock they had available. Okay, fine. They advertised it as 15 centimeter calico ranchu, and I was like, you know what? It's a 15 centimeter ranchu. Could be worth it. This is the only one that looked the way it does. And quite honestly, the quality is atrocious. The back's pretty nice. Obviously a very long back, which is not normally what you want to see on a side view ranchu like this. The tail is atrocious. It's not supposed to be this class. Only one with this calico coloration. And it's not an awful calico coloration. It could have been worse. At least you can tell that there's a bit blue here. It's not white. If it was white, low quality calico. Not as nice as the Chinese fish. Was the only proper calico ranchu. The box that arrived was various different shades of damn well not calico. Now, fortunately, I had a very lucky break. Some people might consider it unfortunate, I consider it damn lucky. The fish died in transit. They got a pneumonia outbreak in the bag. 
and they all died except that little boy. Thank goodness. Because of these low quality, not calico ranchu survived, I couldn't let my agent take the loss. I would have to buy these fish. And because they all died, wasn't my problem anymore. I just hope those Indonesian bastards gave the money back, which what they were supposed to do. I paid a nice chunk of change for this ranchu as well. And quite honestly, I could get better quality fish for the same kind of money had it been from China or Thailand. But it doesn't just end there. There are multiple people that got fish from Indonesia, not happy with the quality, but this is fantastic. I am so happy they have treated me and my countrymen with such contempt. Because if they do that to us, who else aren't they doing it to? If these Indonesian efforts, a little bit angry there, treat their customers like this, that is a golden opportunity for me because I actually do value honor and honesty. If you buy fish from me, I'm not gonna sell you a mixed box full of males like what happened with my Thailand import. We paid around 15,000 Rand for those goldfish, plus minus, with the understanding that it would be a mix of male and females. Every single one was a male. So needless to say, I'm taking it personally and I am now extremely motivated and give these efforts a good run for their money. Prepare yourselves. Looks like a little girl. Could be completely wrong though. It's very difficult to tell on the Yukin. Unacceptable. The most expensive goldfish I've ever bought. Back is way too flat, tail looks nice. Color is not at all what I'm interested in. It wouldn't be a demerit in the show. These Oranda were sold as kidding, but it's a shit kitty. Mr. Pond Fish Rancher, if you're that upset, why did you buy these fish? Cause I'm between a rock and a hard place. Didn't have a lot of options. It was either buy these fish or be stuck with the same few amount of breeders that I have. Look at this man. That body is not correct. Look at the split in that tail. Should be 50%. It's not atrociously ugly. You see that side? That is more what Kirin looks like. Color in the middle of the scale, different color on the outer edge. Creating an almost giraffe-like pattern. I do believe this is a little girl at the very least. Should be able to breed coming September. Better split, at least. Bit of a better back, not too ugly. You see these little black markings on the fish? It's not the end of the world. I can use it. This one is still very young. It is difficult to say it could be a male or a female. Once again, pathetic. I. I'm not a fan of the split, but I can use this in my genetics. A bit of a better fish, better hump. I am 99% certain this is a little girl. We can use her. Even though most of these fish are low quality rubbish, I can use it in my genetics to produce something amazing. I've got the time, I've got the infrastructure, I've got the knowledge. These Demikin, very nice fish. Nice and dark. Fortunately, over the past couple of months, I've been collecting black more goldfish. It's essentially the same, but of course this is just a bit better bred animal. We'll give the Indonesians that. The Demikin at least are not atrocious. Not Jinx's mate. We can use this. Little girl, fantastic. Yeah, look at that. I didn't see this in the video. This fish could potentially lose its black. Not the end of the world. Could also be a little girl. Not 100% certain on that one. Another beautiful little black Demikin. Also looks like a little girl. Look at those eyes, my guys. Much better than what I've seen on the South African black moors. Now we're left with the Oranda. I wasn't planning on breeding Oranda. I had no interest in them, quite frankly. Uh, for a lack of a better term, I considered them a bit of a basic bitch fish. Everyone loves Oranda. Everyone breeds Oranda. They are probably one of, if not the most popular goldfish in South Africa. I would place Ranchu as the second most popular with the garbage quality we got from Indonesia, combined with the fact we heard nothing at the time from Thailand and China, I was like, you know what? If this is going to fall onto anyone, it might as well be me. And I'm going to try and breed the best so that we no longer have to rely on efforts like the Thailand guys that cheat you and the Indonesians that cheat you. I've already explained a bit on this Oranda. Does look like a little girl, a little girl. Look at this, look at freaking this, my guy. You see how bent that is, unacceptable. This is a bit of a better fish. I'm gonna see if I can get better footage. That is a much better back. If we're lucky, it will retain the black. Very difficult to tell, could be a little boy. This is a bit of a better fish. We'll see what happens with it. 
Difficult to tell. I can't quite make out if it's a male or a female. A bit of a better back also. It's now been a couple of days since the fish arrived. They're out of quarantine and everything. I have told my agent that I absolutely refuse to buy fish from Indonesia from now on. I'm not gonna let myself be cheated again. I am going to do everything I can to make these bastards know the name Sugoi Koi and Sugoi Goldfish. Nothing like a little friendly business rivalry. Spoiler alert, it's not friendly. <laughs> <laughs>